Sites. And welcome back to my channel, Site. According to this video, to uh, compare the touch sampling rate comparison between all of the six smartphones which I got right now, as you can clearly see, friends. So let's see which phone has got the best touch sampling rate and. What is the actual touch sampling rate we are getting and what is the company is claiming uh, in terms of the touch sampling rate with, within this respect to mobile phones. So this video is going to be really really very interesting friends. So this in this way you'll be able to get to know which phone has got actually highest touch sampling rate and lowest touch sampling rate. So in this video I did include the IQ Z3 OnePlus Nord CE device. So this is my latest new phone addition into my uh, channel as you can see friends. I'm doing plenty of research on this phone. So finally one thing I did understand network is slightly better 4G plus connection that is what uh, one thing. But rest of the things I'm right, right now I'm uh, very much busy in testing this OnePlus Nord CE device. And the Realme X1 Max I'm using for the past few days and the OnePlus Nano device and IQ7 device, MI11 device, these three phones already I am using for pretty much long time. So let's see friends which phone has got the better and fastest start sampling rate comparison. That is what I am going to check each and every smartphone right now. And one more quick note, uh, some companies they do provide the high touch sampling rate only while gaming. Yes friends. So for example the IQ7 and the IQ Z3. From the IQ companies what is that? You do get the whatever the company is claiming the touch sampling rate for example in the iq7 the company is claiming 300 hertz you will get the 300 hertz only if you add the applications into the ultra game mode so while normal mode you don't get 300 hertz only for the games and the applications which you are added for only those you will be getting this kind of high touch sampling rate so just for the normal sake i did add all this kind of application which i am testing right now so there will be two applications which i'll be using in this kind of demonstration the two applications i did already added into the game turbo game space and game center in all this uh all the different different phones as well so before actually starting the touch sampling rate comparison so first you need to know what type of refresh rate i'm trying to use in all the the six smartphones whatever i got right now that is the main thing friends because the refresh rate also matters a lot while you're doing this kind of touch sampling rate testing so as you can see the 120 hertz so all the phones are having the 120 hertz uh, as you can see selected except this one place not because i do get only 90 hertz obviously i cannot use more than that so let me to go back uh, to open the application which i'm going to test right now so to download this kind of very good looking live wallpaper so make sure to check the links in description friends for the live wallpaper playlist you can find that videos so make sure to hit that like so like targets for this video would be maybe 300 likes so i know you will be making that 300 likes so make sure to hit that like and do support me let me try to open the first application test which is the touch multi-test as you can see from this application which i'm trying to use right now in, in terms of the demonstration purpose so right now i'm trying to use the iq z3 mobile phone which has got the 180 hertz touch sampling rate that is what the company is coming but let's check in the reality whether we are getting the 180 hertz or not so right now we are getting about uh, close to as you can see 310 sometime as you can see friends that clearly the difference in terms of the number but you need to do the minus so whatever you get the number here and you need to do the minus with the refresh rate whatever you are having as you can see friends right now i did see kind of close to 310 as well 310 kind of as you, let me try to focus properly sorry for that yeah now you will be able to see that so more than 300 I am trying to see. So close to uh, 310. So let me try to do the math and let's see. So 310 minus refresh rate. 120 hertz is a refresh rate and I'm getting 190 hertz of touch sampling rate in the IQ Z3 device. The company did claim we will be getting 180 hertz. So that's a really good thing. We are getting slightly more as well. So next test, let's uh, move to the OnePlus Nord C device. So let's see in the OnePlus Nord C what will be the touch sampling rate uh, by using the same application which I'm trying to uh, demonstrate you right now. Somewhere it should be here. Yes, is application. I'll be to use. As you can see, friends, the gaming mode is on. In all the phones, same application I did add into the game mode. So you'll get the highest touch sampling rate as possible. So right now I'm getting close to 270. 269, 270. As you can see, friends, 269, 270. You can see the numbers clearly. Wow, that's really great. You can see the individual numbers as well in this OnePlus Nord device. So overall, you are getting about 270 kind of thing. Let me try to 270 minus 120. No. 90 because the OnePlus Nord is 90 hertz refresh rate so minus 90 so you get 180 hertz touch sampling rate yes in the OnePlus Nord we are getting 180 hertz whatever the company I think it's climbing so 180 hertz touch sampling rate 190 180 next let's move to the Realme X1 Max so let's see what will be the Realme X1 Max touch sampling rate at the moment and one more quick note I am running the software update which is the Realme UI 11. Dot, let, let me show you exactly the version. The reason why I'm showing the version is because there's some problem with the touch sampling rate in this Realme X1 Max. I was unable to get 360 hertz, whatever the company is claiming. Yes, friends, I was unable to get that. So in this application, you are getting about uh, 360, as you can see. You can see this 360, but you need to do the minus, as I said every time, as you can see. You're getting 360 in the application, no problem, but you need to do the minus thing. Let me try to show you 360 minus 120. 
So you are getting 240 hertz in this Realme Exxon Max. That's a really totally disappointed friends. So I did not expect uh, this kind of huge difference would be there. That is the reason I'm trying to show you exactly what uh, software version I'm trying to run. I'm running uh, 11, 11 slash A.14. The latest software update will be 15. So I'm waiting for that update. Maybe with that update, I'm not sure whether it will be able to fix or not, hopefully. Even though I, I cannot play any games, 90 FPS, no 120 FPS support in the Realme Exxon Max. It's totally a waste of money for the gamers, I would say. Because the processor is really great, processor is really good, but only the software optimization is not that great in this Realme Exxon Max. That's the reason you're not getting high touch sampling rate in the Realme Exxon Max. Hopefully we should get the update and it will be able to fix everything. So next in the OnePlus 9, let's see what will be the touch sampling rate in this phone. Even I did add into the game mode as well, as you can see. So right now I'm getting about a 360 hertz. That's no problem because the company is climbing exactly 240 hertz and we are getting exactly close to that. Let me try to do the math. And as you can see friends, 360 minus 120, we did get 240 hertz. So one, whatever the OnePlus 9 is climbing 240 hertz, we are getting actual the same. Even the same thing should happen friends. If the Realme is climbing, you, are, you do get 240 hertz, that's no problem. They should give that kind of official statement, but it's not the case. So let's see with the software update, whether it will be able to fix or not. So let's move to the next phone, which is the IQ R7. So let's see in the IQ7, uh, whether the touch sampling rate, how much we can actually get. So right now we are getting about 420. It's increasing up to 420 as you can see friends clearly. 420. The IQ team, they did climb that a phone will be having up to 300 hertz stat sampling rate. Yes, 300 hertz stat sampling rate. We are actually getting the same number only right now. As you can see friends, 420, 420 uh, minus 120, sorry. So 300 hertz start sampling rate exactly we are getting in the IQ7 device without any kind of issues. So now let's move to the final phone which is the MI 11X device. So you'll understand the reason why I did this kind of uh, order as well. Why The reason why you'll get to know right now. So right now I did add the multi-touch application into the game turbo as well. As you can see the touch sampling rate it's increasing up to 490. So I did see the 483 and 486, 487 as well as you can see. You can see the 485, 486. So let's consider as a round figure 490, for example, let's see. So 490 minus 120, so 370. So it's kind of close to the 360 hertz refresh rate, whatever the company is claiming we are getting in the MI 11X device. So this is the reason I did uh, keep all the phones in this kind of order, as you can see, starting from IQ uh, Z3, which has 180 hertz and 180 hertz, 240 hertz, 240 hertz, 300 hertz and the 360 hertz. The final winner in terms of the touch sampling rate is a MI 11X device. So this is another application which is kind of slightly useful. Let me try to open that kind of application, which will be really interesting to test. This is another uh, touch sampling test as well, which will be recognizing the number of touch inputs whenever you try to uh, draw the finger. Let me try to quickly open the same kind of application in all the phones. So now all the phones are open with the same kind of application. So the phone which has got the really good high touch sampling rate will be able to recognize the number of touches really good. That is what uh, this complete test is about. It's very hard to uh, compare in this kind of application. That is the reason I did use a previous application, but let's test what will happen. So let me try to uh, do the slow finger gesture. I'm trying to do very slow. As you can see friends, slow. So all the phones are really good in terms of the slow input. So you cannot see any kind of gaps. You cannot see any kind of uh, things happening. I can actually feel really smooth in the ML NX device. So now let me try to increase the speed as well. As you can see friends, I started to increase the speed. So now, as soon as you increase the speed, you did notice a couple of things. So you can see this kind of circles is happening, round round circles in the 180 Hz start sampling rate. In the 240 Hz, you are not seeing much. You can see friends, in the 240 Hz, you are not seeing much. In the IQ7, which has the 300 Hz, slightly you can see a little bit, but not much. In the ML Linux device, you cannot even see anything. In the ML Linux, it's completely straight line, as you can see, as a normal. This is the difference friends uh, from the 180 Hz start sampling rate to the 360 Hz start sampling rate. So this is how much you can expect the difference. And let's see with the faster, I'll try to use very fast. As you can see friends, very fast I'm trying to move. As you can see, so now just let's see which phone has got a better kind of touch sampling rate in this kind of fast movement. I do know this movement is not that kind of equal sometimes. So that is another thing. But overall you can see friends in, the, in terms of the touch sampling rate, the MI 11X did recognize number of touches more. The phone which recognizes more touches, that is what the a clear winner, which has got really good high touch sampling. That is a clear winner. So in terms of the IQ7, so slightly, I think I did move maybe faster, I think so in the IQ7 device. So that is the reason you're seeing only less number of touches inputs. 
otherwise i think it should used to be like this maybe i did more slightly faster fans in the iq7 i think so so but it's this is a one place nano device and these are realme x1 max so both has got the same kind of uh, recognition in terms of the touch i cannot see much difference as well and the one place nord and the iq z3 they both have same kind of thing there's nothing much uh, difference is going on between these two phones 180 hertz as you can see clearly friends so this is a complete touch sampling rate comparison between the six smartphones and this is going to be my biggest touch sampling rate comparison i ever done in my channel so make sure to hit that subscribe and hit that like and also do support me use my links to buy in the description friends any kind of products from the amazon that will be really good and that will be really helpful for me as well in buying new and new phones and bringing off the really good fresh content every day as as much as possible so thank you for watching and see you in the next video friends until then stay tuned for more updates see you in the next video until then bye and one more thing finally quick note the only problem is with the realme x1 max rest of the companies whatever they are climbing we are getting exactly same touch sampling rate except the realme x1 max at this point using the same application in all the phones all the phones are working perfectly all right but not the realme x1 max that is what the conclusion i want to give so I ju i'll just wait for the update let's wait so even after the update if it continues the same thing i'll try to post a video as well very soon so thank you for watching this video friends and see you in the next video until then stay tuned don't forget to hit the subscribe and also like and see you in the next video until then bye